everybody welcome to my channel today we're gonna discuss about genotype by environmental analysis with r for windows and as all of you uh, most of you are expecting that we are just using the r studio but today we will use the uh, g e a then uh, hyphen r it is the genotype by environment analysis with r um, it is uh, it is made by CIMET, uh, which is uh, the Centro Internacional de Measurement de Mes de Trigo, um, Trigo uh, or CIMET, and the authors are this, and it helps you just uh, uh, to provide you a GG biplot as well as the stability analysis, uh, again additive main and multiplicative interaction analysis, and again also um the site regression the factorial regression so we will see uh, each one by one so let's uh, first import our uh, data and in fact it's my data and my data is found in a desktop so it's in form of csv so if your data is in the form of excel or uh, tab or whatever it is so you have to convert it to csv uh, so let's um, import let's import Yes, this is the, my data name is WCSV. Then open. Yeah, as you see here, it is already displayed. Here, there is the environment. Here is the genotype. Here is the replication, and the two are the response variable, which stands for grain yield as well as the hectoliter mass. Then uh, coming to here, it it specify three different uh, things. The first one is the lattice design, and the second one is randomized complete block design, and the third one is adjusted means. So my data is randomized to complete block design. So I select that one. Then if you select that, uh, the block uh, will be uh, will not be active. So uh, then environment replicate as well as genotype is are active. Then will feed the environment so environment means you are feeding the column that represent the environment so in our case is env so uh, do that and again replicate is the column that contain the replication so it is designated by rep so select that one and again genotype is it is uh, the column that contains our genotype so it's designated again by uh, gen so by this way you can uh, submit uh, uh, to the variable selection then you can uh, continue then uh, analysis uh, or okay you can give a name for example uh, let's give this one wako yeah, wako then continue then uh, the response variable as well as the environment is so i will select all environments so it will be displayed here for example if you want to remove some environment so or all environment you can use the drop but if you select all then provide uh, the set all environments and for example if i want to analyze the two variables so you can input in this one but if you are interested only uh, uh, on the grain yield so submit this one then the next step will be what there is analysis options there are different options as i mentioned uh, before here is additive man and multiplicative interaction analysis and again here is the site regression here is the partial list square the stability analysis and lastly the factorial regression so what do you want for example if you want additive man and multiplicative interaction analysis so type this one and again also you can uh, this software also gives you uh, uh, a good uh, 3d uh, three dimensional plot so just click this one then you can go immediately for what for and lies yeah this is in progress as you can see here it is in a progress yeah then uh, let's see here is a by plot for the the principal component one as well as principal component two for the grain yield in the randomized complete plot design so if you click this one yeah you will get hmm, this one yeah so uh, by this way you can uh, create uh, the uh, amimi for grain yield for randomized complete block design and as you can see here the principal component one uh, contains 30.4 uh, 34.43 uh, 
uh, percent, while the principal component two contain uh, thirty one point seven nine uh, percent. Now, by this way, you can display your additive main and the multiplicative interaction analysis. Again, if you are interested, um, for example, if you are interested for the principal component y and three, for the principal component two and three, so you can fit this one. Then let's see the three dimensional uh, uh, by plot. Yeah, so it's loading. So this is a three uh, dimensional uh, principal component. As you can see here, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, yes. So this is the other uh, way of displaying the three dimensional uh, by plot. Moreover, uh, you can uh, get the uh, final scores and it will display you in the uh, Excel. Yeah. So it's loading. Yeah. So you use the genotype and the environment, the name, the yield, the three uh, dimensions or the three principal components. Again, you can get also the ANOVA. So here is uh, ANOVA for environment, genotype, and the interaction of environment and genotype. And the remaining principal uh, components, lastly, the residual. And here is the sum square. And again, also, here is the degree of freedom, the mean square, the F value. Here is the probability, that means the P uh, value. So uh, again, by this way, uh, you can also get uh, this um, ANOVA. So uh, this is uh, all about the additive main and multiplicative interactive analysis. And for example, if you want to measure the site regression, so you just simply click that one and go this one, go this one and analyze. Yeah. Then here is SR regime, this is site regression for the uh, randomized complete block design for the grain yield. Yeah. Again, you can get a number of observations. So just click to the point where you see. Yes. Yeah, all these are. Again, if you're interested in the three di in three in three dimensional, ways, you can do in this manner. Yeah. The, and then again, the final score for the site uh, regression you can get in this way. Again, also the ANOVA also you can get in this uh, way. Then let's continue to the third uh, one. Uh, again, if you are interested in the partial little square, so you can uh, perform uh, this one. But again, if you want interested in the stability analysis, if you want to include all the stability parameters, for example, here is the Shukla, here is the Perkins, here is the Ricks, here is the superiority, the non-parametric, the tie, whatever you want. So if, if you fit all this one, it will uh, give you the stability analysis for what you submitted. Yeah. So style means this one. This is a site regression. This is additive main and multiplicative interaction analysis, and which is found in WACO folder. Yes. This will give you an Excel. Yeah. Which is uh, which genotype is adaptable? Which genotype is stable? Which genotype is uh, both uh, adaptable and stable? And the genotype is uh, the non-significant uh, genotype. So it will display you. Moreover, uh, you can get also here is the plot. Yeah. So the one with red color is a good performance and stable. Yes. Moreover, uh, again, if you are uh, interested in the Abraham and Russell coefficient, it will give you. For example, the one with the black is non-significant. The one with red is adaptable. Yes, it is visible as you can see here. And the one with the blue color is the stable. The one with the green color is adaptable and stable. Quite unfortunate. <laughs> there is no uh, stable, 
but adaptable is the genotype one let's continue and if you want to see the stability uh, coefficient of for the grain yield so it will gives you this information for example here is a variant in the russell shukla the perkins as well as the jinx the rix uh, equivalence the superiority and here is the non parametric so interesting Then, uh, if you want to the tire stability parameter, it will give you the result in this uh, Excel format or CSV format. And again, it will give you the graphical approach. Yes. Uh, if you are uh, interested in the GG uh, biplot, uh, if you are interested in GG biplot, still it's analyzing. Yeah, it takes time. Yeah, uh, if you want, so if you remember in one of my previous tutorial, uh, here is the uh, column metric uh, preserving, here is the tester genotype plus genotype by environment interaction, and zero means no scaling, one is means there is SD, yeah? if you remember, yeah. So let's say okay, then this is uh, similar to the previous one, which is uh, found in uh, stat. Uh, in one of the GG biplot GUI. So, for example, if you are uh, interested in the mean versus stability, if you are interested in the comparing of two genotypes, then you will feed the genotypes one name, for example, genotype two, and let's compare genotype, um, no, sorry, uh, genotype 10, yeah. So you can get this one. Moreover, uh, if, if you want for the to test the relationship among the environment and uh, if you want to examine the genotype and select the genotype that you want to examine for example let's say genotype 10 yeah again if you want to the rank of environment or genotype with ideal environment as well as with reference to the ideal genotype so you can select this one yeah so, uh, more or less, it's, uh, it is uh, not more or less, in fact, it's the same with that of uh, the uh, DG Biplot GUI uh, package. So, I think uh, it is very easy, no entrance of uh, codes, no error, and it is uh, very easy. And I hope it helps you a lot. And uh, as usual, don't forget to to provide your valuable suggestion, your comment, your advice, whatever you want. Just ad address me through my email, work directors phone, as well as YouTube comment box. Additionally, I will provide the link that helps you to, uh, to download this uh, software. And moreover, if you are interested, you have to go to the help button and you can get the manual. It will give you uh, step by step by but I hope my video is very helpful for you and thank you for watching have a nice time